What's up fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. No Jumper host Brick Baby and Sharp almost put hands, feet, knuckles on a guest after he made a comment alleging some boy on boy activity. And once he made that comment, all hell broke loose. Brick Baby got upset, Brick Baby made threats, Sharp stood up, the host stood up, and they was going back and forth. It got pretty tense, and I'm going to play that clip for you guys. And in the midst of all the chaos, pay attention to what's going on. Let's go. Well, what video <laughs> did you watch us going hard on the, on a male or a female? You've never seen us go hard on Is that on Pornhub? What did you say? Bro, try not to get your ass whooped. For real. On the dead homies. For real. I think thanks. so. Try not to get your ass whooped. Let's stop it right there. The guy says, I did my homework. I know that y'all be going pretty hard on people, so I'm prepared for what's next. And Brick Baby says, who you see us going hard on? And the guy says, was it on Pornhub? Now, that obviously was a joke. You know, it was supposed to be met with laughter. Because to be honest with you guys, Adam22 does that type of joke all the time. He jokes with those guys. He play grab ass with those guys. And Brick Baby never gets mad at Adam. He laughs it off. He's chuckled at it. But when a guest do it, now he got issues with it. When this guest says it, now he want to promote violence. Talking about don't get your ass whooped. I'm going to tell you why the guest made that joke. Because he's seen you grinning when Adam do it. If you gonna be a hoe, be a hoe. I hate them, them hoes that be discriminating. You gonna be a hoe for him, damn, you gotta be a hoe for me. That's how the guy's looking at it. He's like, damn, I didn't know you would get so offended by it. I see Adam makes that same joke with you. I see Adam plays that way with you and you like it. You smile, you grin, you never get upset. Now when he does it, Brick Baby is mad. So I think Brick Baby may be gay for pay. If you paying him, if you give him a job, you can touch on his ass. You can make those type of jokes. But if you just a regular nigga, it might get your ass whooped. That would have comes across as to me. But let's continue watching. I'm sick, so, because you starting to veer off, nigga. <laughs> on my mama, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. Real. You talking about some motherfucking porn hub. Was it on porn hub, nigga? I was just, well, I slapped bad. the shit out your stupid ass, nigga. <laughs> hey, y'all see the woman who was sitting beside him? Once things start getting heated, once Brick Baby started making threats, that lady said, oh, hell no. I'm getting the hell away from here. I'm not going to be caught in the middle. I'm not trying to break y'all niggas up. Let me run for cover now. And you see the guy is flabbergasted. He don't know what's going on. He thought it was a harmless joke. He thought it was going to be met with laughter. You can tell the guy is nervous because one, he looked like a damn fool. You look like an idiot. You go on no jumper with a no jumper tattooed on your goddamn head. What the hell wrong with you, man? You can get anything on your head. You can get your child name. You can get granny name. You can get mom name, pop's name. Why the hell are you getting the no jumper logo on the side of your head? Now, don't get me wrong. I think no jumper is entertaining. I think they bring value to hip hop. But they ain't really built like that. They ain't getting no damn no jumper tattoo. I don't care how much I like you guys. How much I watch y'all live streams. Why the hell would I get your brand tatted on my head? So he knows you look like a damn fool. And they know it as well. And that's why they treated him so bad. But let's continue watching. It gets even, even crazy. The fuck wrong with you, bro? Like a nigga keep telling you, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, nigga. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there. Stop like, playing with me, bro. For real, bro. I'm what did I do? Nigga, I don't know. Talk about real, is church. it on Pornhub. I'm talking about, nigga, you seen the video of us going hard. You talking about Pornhub. <laughs> I'm just talking. Nigga. fucking... <laughs> This shit is trash, bro. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, my bad. I was gonna offend you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you bro. Playing you playing games, too dog. much. I'm really not, this He's really not playing too much. That's the culture Adam created. Adam created that culture where he get to make these zesty jokes. Everybody laughs at him. Everybody ignores him, including you, Brick Baby. I seen plenty of you and Adam podcasts where you say something and Adam make that same type of joke and you be high out of your mind. You just laugh it off. You just smile at him. So this guy thought he can try you with that. See, I'm all on the proponent of if you don't roll like that, 
don't pick and choose who you roll like that with. If you don't roll that certain way, you got to check everybody, even your boss, the person paying you, the people around you. If you ain't rolling a certain type of way and you don't want people to try you that way, let it be known from the jump. But don't laugh and grin with one person and then when somebody else do it, you all up in arms talking about you finna put, commit acts of violence. That don't make no sense at all. So I don't blame that dude for making that joke. He like, damn, Adam do it. Adam the white boy who makes the joke. I'm going to be the white guy who can make the joke as well. I'm going to play grab ass with you. I'm going to make zesty jokes. Brick baby, you supposed to laugh like you do Adam. That's how he looking at it. Now that dude is shocked. He's like, damn, where are all this coming from? Adam does it all the time. I don't understand what's going on. That's how he feel. <laughs> but let's continue. Come nigga, that's know, like I'm the nigga spitting on you or something or slapping you, nigga, and saying I wasn't trying to offend you, nigga. Bro, I'm not trying to offend y'all. Come on, like, bro. Straight up. Try I, not I, to get I, your ass whooped in this motherfucking game. My bad. I'm, I'm sick, sorry, so bro. Crazy, hey, bro. No, I'm telling you, I'm not. I'm literally. Hold on. What? Nah. What? What? Standing up for? Nah. See, Sharp is right for standing up. Let me tell you something about black culture. If you're having a heated argument and you guys are sitting down, once one person stand up, you have to stand up as well because you don't want to get hit off guard. You don't want to get sucker punched while sitting down. That's the fastest way to get your ass knocked out. So when this guy stood up, Sharp was right for standing up. But once the guy says, hey, I don't want no problem. I'm just standing up. You guys are freaking me out. Sharp should have backed up. Sharp was very hostile to this dude. Brick Baby was very hostile to this dude. It was too much hostility for me. We know the guy's a weirdo. We know the guy ain't wrapped too tight. Y'all ain't have to do him like that. But let's continue. Uh, he ain't trying to fight. What you standing up for, bro? Like, he ain't not like trying this. to like, fight. Sitting down, yeah. like, okay. Okay. He, he ain't trying down, to fight. Bro. He ain't trying to fight. Sit down. Don't stand up, though, dog. I ain't with all that shit, my nigga. All that standing up shit, though, I'm cool I'm on all that. I don't, I don't take that you shit. You can sit down, down, down then, bro. You standing up. You can sit talk about it, bro. You gotta come for real, man. You can sit down. You can, if you want to talk, sit down. Just sit down. You want to talk, sit down. Don't stand over us while you Don't talk. stand over us, bro. I already took that that's shit. That's disrespectful. Once. That's why he stood up. All right, that's cool. I like so how you did in. it, though, bro, because you did it early. All right, but I wasn't you know, intentional. But you did it early. You told me he was going to lick me. Who what said I was going to lick you? You told me he was going to fucking lick my face. That's why I stood up. Yeah, I, I didn't I want I, Who the fuck wants to get licked in her face? I was just playing with you, gang. You Wait, so Brick Baby can make a joke about somebody coming to lick him on his face and he's supposed to be okay with it. Brick Baby said, I was just playing with you. It obviously, I was just joking. But when the dude makes a joke against Brick Baby, Brick Baby wants to get all mad. Sharp wants to get mad. Brick Baby talking about what he gonna do to do, slap his shit out of him, talking about 060 Crip. Bro, we don't care about that. We know you big cripping, but that don't scare me. It might scare him, but it don't scare me. So it seemed like a very, very hypocritical of Brick Baby. He making weird jokes, talking about somebody gonna come lick you on your face. He's supposed to be okay with it. But when he make a joke about you, you mad. This is just nonsense. I think these guys got a hidden agenda. I think these guys are mad at this dude for coming up there with that no jumper tattoo. Because you gotta look at it. These are no jumper guests. They are willing to die for no jumper. I know Sharp is. See the way Sharp looking at him? You see the way Sharp is so offended that by that no jumper tattoo? Sharp is willing to die and ready to go to war for no jumping. It's clear as day. But let's continue. See me laughing when I said it, gang. I'm not, I'm not gonna, that's, that's sexual harassment. We're not gonna catch that type of case. You get what I'm saying? I'm fucking with you. Just how you, like, you playing with me? I was actually playing, you could tell. But you, like, talking about Pornhub, was that video? I was, uh, I was just, like, done with that shit. Yeah. You good? Like, I'm good. You, I'm like good. I said. I don't got yeah. really shit else to say, bro. I mean, you well, already think that shit is disrespectful on the side of your head. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful to you, Because you don't know you, nothing about that shit that's on the side of your head, bro. You don't know nothing about it. You don't know not even a piece of it. What built it, what it's about, really nothing. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So Brick Baby is mad about the guy making the Pornhood joke. Sharp is mad as well. But Sharp just played his hand and he just exposed the real reason why he's mad. Sharp is not mad about the joke the dude made. Sharp is mad because the guy got the no jumper tattoo on the side of his head and Sharp feels like the guy didn't put in no work. He feels like that's very disrespectful. I'm the king of no jumper. Adam pays me. Are you trying to take my position? Why did you come up here with that no jumper tattoo on the side of your head? Sharp is very offended by it. 
You hear the way Sharp talking about it. You don't know what that means. You didn't put in work. I mean, damn, Sharp talking about no jumper like it's a damn gang. Like it's a gang initiation. The dude is just a super fan. That's it. Sharp looking too deep into the shit. <laughs> Sharp, you might want to get the no jumper tattoo on the side of your head then. But let's continue. You talking about some other sideball bullshit. What did Adam do before fucking no jumper? You can't answer any of them questions, bro. What was he before no jumper? I mean, the video that I liked the most was the one they had with Lil Peep. It looked like he was in a little store. So there you have it. Um, a no jumper super fan comes on the show to get interviewed. Sharp and Brick Baby goes off on them. They intimidate the guy. They were very disrespectful to the guy. And I sense it was a little bit of jealousy. The guy came up there with a no jumper tattoo. He came in there making jokes. Brick Baby didn't like it. Sharp didn't like the fact that he had the tattoo. So they wanted to whoop his ass. I guarantee you that's the reason why. And it lets me know that Adam is the only person at No Jumper that can make zesty jokes. Adam makes zesty jokes all the time. He play grab ass with these guys all the time. And they never check Adam the way they check this dude. So next time, I'm going to be watching. Next time Adam22 make a zesty joke. Next time Adam22 says something zesty. If Brick Baby don't behave that way, we need to call him out. We need to leave comments. We need to hold his feet to the fire. Why you had so much hostility toward a guest, but when your boss do it, you laughing and grinning. Are you gay for pay? If you gonna be a hoe, damn it, be a hoe. Don't pick and choose who you a hoe for. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts about this whole situation. But I want to know how, how you guys feel about it. Do you think the guest was wrong for making that joke? And do you think Brick Baby overreacted? And what you think about Sharp response? Do you think his response was a little too over the top? The dude just had a no jumper tattoo. He's a super fan. Shouldn't they embrace him? Shouldn't they welcome him with open arms? Shouldn't they be happy to give him that interview? But instead, they just disrespected the guy, scared him. The guy almost ran off the damn set. Once Big Baby said on 6 0 Crip, they got him on no beef. They got him on no misunderstanding. He said, damn it, I'm out of here. He almost ran out that damn door. Luckily, he stayed. Luckily, they conducted the interview, but that's not the way you want to treat the guests. But anyway, guys, share this video. I love you guys. Peace.